Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit and today we're going to be uh, reviewing the differences between the Alan Edmonds shoes and Beckett Simmons shoes. Hello, my name is Paul Anthony. And I'm CP. And today we're going to be exploring the difference between, or the pros and cons between Beckett Simmons and Alan Edmonds and which one may be a better fit for your next shoe purchase. It's a smackdown. Yeah, it's a shoe smackdown. <laughs> it's a stomp down. Stomp down. Oh, yeah, I like we can that. stomp down. Yeah, yeah I mean, oh yeah, trademark that. Anyway, so <laughs> on this on this first stomp down between mm. these two shoes, we have Alan Edmonds, and what we're going to really pitch Alan Edmonds as is a Goodyear welted shoe, mm. made in the USA, mm. and we're going to throw the typical price point out at four hundred dollars. Okay. And then on okay. your side of the ring, on my side I have Beckett Simonon, <laughs> <laughs> ethically handcrafted uh, in Colombia by uh, craftspeople. And these are a Blake Stitch shoe, and we're looking at an average price of about two hundred dollars. But there is a B <laughs> this folk unit code that you can use if you throw in BU twenty uh, when making your order on Be BeckettSimonon.com, you'll get twenty percent off. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to take over the reins. I'm going to say that the main pros of Alan Edmonds are. It, one, if you like a Goodyear welted shoe, that's what you're going to get here. And in the links below, we're going to there's a video where we're going to show the difference between Goodyear and Blake Stitch. Basically, in short, a Goodyear welted shoe is going to give you two major pros. One, it's going to give you a more waterproof shoe, and two, it's going to be a more resolable shoe in an easier and possibly cheaper fashion. The other major con that I believe there is with Alan Edmonds over Becky Simonon is the fact that I can actually get shoes big enough in Alan Edmund. <laughs> sure, you which haven't is, tried one of these is, yet. <laughs> which is actually quite a big benefit for someone with an oversized 13 regular width shoe. Mm. So Alan Edmonds do go up to probably size 15 in a triple E width and I think they go down to like size 6 mm. in like A's and if they don't have it they will actually make it for you and it usually takes about a couple of weeks to go through the factory so that's a huge benefit for very narrow footed guys, very mm. wide footed guys like myself, and not only wide but long feet as well. So I have a 14 triple E, which isn't offered by Beckett Simonon. However, that does come with a price of usually being around a $400 shoe. Um, I usually would go, if, if I could fit into Beckett Simonon, um, Again, well, I'll, I'll let you take Beckett Simon and I okay. say where I would maybe buy or not buy Beckett Simon or Alan Edmonds. Okay, well, uh, the advantage of Beckett Simon and first start is it's half the price. We're looking at $200. Uh, it's still a handcrafted shoe, ethically so, and it is one of the brand's biggest selling points. Here we have much more, we're going to have much more streamlined styles, a greater variety uh, potentially, and because of the Blake stitch, it's going to be a much lower uh, sole. However, in terms of uh, water resistance, it's not going to be quite as effective because like Blake stitches, it will have this stitch that goes right through the sole. So you're going to probably want to wear these on a dry summer's day or if you live in a more southern, warmer and drier climate. One of the other main disadvantages as I'm in the Allen Edmund camp is that you're going to have to wait three to five months. Yes, but you do get a handcraft for 200 bucks <laughs> or 160 if you use our code. So yeah, so I think, okay, we're gonna like pitch these shoes mm. against each other. Okay, obviously one, like me, if you can't wear a Becca Simonon shoe, then it's not even gonna be an option. So let's get that out of the way. Just say you're like Charles Philippe with a tiny baby foot and you're like, <laughs> 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 and size, what, you're a size, what, you size what, nine? Uh, nine, yeah. Yeah, he's a size nine. So say you're a size nine, you know, you're straight mm. out of the packet, size nine like Charles Philippe, and you can get in any shoe under the sun. Why would you potentially buy an Alan Edmonds or a Beckett Simon. Well, I'll tell you why I buy a Beckett Simon. First of all, I don't have big Dumbo O feet. Okay. And uh, also, because I'm paying half the price, I can have a much larger collection of shoes. I'm currently at the beginning of my shoe game. I've been, we've been working on a lot of shoe content. I've been doing a lot of research and discovering these new brands. So I'm getting involved with Beckett Simon, for example, and I'm starting to build out my collection using those shoes. And rather than just being able to get a pair of Oxfords, here I'm able to get a monk strap and a hole cut. Yes, there is a waiting time involved, but the shoes will be crafted for you, and you'll be able to get a much more affordable and stylish, high-quality handcrafted shoe. 
And on the flip side of that, if you are, uh, you know, Charles Philippe size, I would probably get the Alan Edmonds shoe if I was looking for that black cap toe Oxford. If it's mm. a shoe I'm going to wear more frequently, mm. then I'm probably going to want to go for a Goodyear welted shoe. Uh, that's not a cap toe. So, um, I know, I'm just oh, saying, I'm just pointing, pointing, to, the, like, pointing, like, to, pointing to the ground. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, if you're going to wear a shoe like on a weekly basis, then I'd say probably go for the Goodyear because you are, okay, one, you've got to get over that breaking period. But once you get over that mm. period, it's going to be like a slipper. You're going to be able to get that thing resold every time mm. you need to. I mean, you're getting these things resold weekly, but if you get them resold once every year, 18 months, because it's a regular shoe, then that's fine. I'd also favor Alan Edmonds if I was probably going to go for a boot that I knew I was going to be wearing in wet or snowy or slushy conditions, which is what we're facing here in Northeast Philadelphia. If I was living in Florida, Alabama, or Southern Europe, or in France, you know, even London, we don't really get much snow, uh, really, are just wet conditions. Mm, you know, mm. that's maybe not as an immersive wetness. If you're getting in like a couple of inch slush, then, mm. you know, probably go Alan Edmonds, especially with uh, the day night soles that they seem mm. to be favoring with some of their current models. And they're just so heavy as well. These big <laughs> Goodyear welted <laughs> shoes with their thick day night soles. Yes, it's great when you're in the snow, but what about the summertime? You don't want to wear something like this while you'll be dragging your feet along like some sort of ogre. You want to wear nice, refined, streamlined shoes where you'll be able to dance across the beach. And don't wear these on the beach you'll destroy them but you'll be able to walk along the promenade and just feel that breeze and feel the lightness of the shoe and the very short break in time really why would you want to get one of those when you can get one of these well i'm maybe not as extreme as <laughs> or as artistic well, you're, you're playing you know. alan Edmonds so hard i'm thinking i need to back these guys up i think what it ultimately <laughs> comes down to is you've you know as with most things you've got to look at your shoe collection mm. you know if you're f just getting into shoes and you need you know your black cap toe mm. you may be looking to get a couple of different browns like a light uh, chestnut or some darker walnuts or even some like burgundies and you're on a budget then yeah maybe go for the whole collection of Beckett mm. Simenon shoes. If, however, like myself, you've got a bit more of a developed collection, or you're looking to, or, or looking to, or have the ability to invest a little bit more money into shoes, I maybe get your Cornerstone Classics from somewhere like Alan Edmonds that are going to be, you know, a little bit longer lasting, a little bit easier to resell, and then maybe get some of the more funky shoes. Um, from Beckett Simonon. I don't necessarily agree with your point with respect to the the depth of the collection. I think Anna Demers does have a very... They do, they do. Definite, definite I, think, I think I was going a bit far there. Although they do, mm. uh, Beckett Simonon on the flip side, there's always pros and cons. There is. They, they have like, you know, they come out of new models every month and that's mm. when, when you buy that month's design, then you get them three to five months later, mm. then they're going to keep coming back through. They have, we have another video where we, where we co cover the core color levers that Beckett Simonon offer. I think they've got mm. five core lever colors. So you can definitely check that out below. If you don't see it from the current styles, then that may be something coming up soon. Mm. So At the end of the day, these are really tools and you're finding the right tool that's most adapted to your needs at the time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. you have a Strand Monk and an Edmund that you wear to death. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. we can't... Those yeah. Strand Monks, I... Oh you know. my god, I've worn those for so long and on a daily basis they're so versatile. I can wear them with a uh, three-piece tweed suit but I'll wear them when I'm walking the dogs in my jeans. They just work with everything. But that does not mean that these guys... <laughs> well, it, these guys are much more continental in style. I was thinking these would, for example, go with a very nice slim cut suit, uh, Italian styles. Whereas the sort of more Goodyear thick, well, you couldn't really get away with that quite so much. But then again, if you're going to be wearing British tailoring, this probably would work. But if you want to go for a more whole cut style, mm, with British tailoring, it doesn't feel... Yeah, I mean, uh, again... Maybe not going to agree with you on that one, but that's okay. the, that's that's the, that's the, that's why you know we're all good on camera together because yeah, right? we yes, basically we... don't agree on anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> with all of that being said, basically, you know, I think the best thing to do is go to both websites. We have links below on where to buy that, as well as obviously we have a special relationship with Beckett Simonon where we've actually crafted a deal where you can get twenty percent off your entire order there using code BU20. So BU20, uh, you'll get twenty percent off. Uh, basically, sit back, look at your shoe collection. Look at the other resources we have here on YouTube where we're discussing the different type of construction methods and if one would favor your needs more than the other. Also, you can go to bespokeunit.com forward slash shoes where we cover, I think, at least 35 different shoe styles um, and how formal they are in relation to each other. So you can actually fill out your shoe collection with that knowledge. Mm. Furthermore, we have 25 pages that cover 12 different shoe colors and 12 different... Uh, 
trouser colours, um, <laughs> and then basically create a matrix of how you can actually wear different colour shoes and different colour mm. trousers and create a wardrobe. So whether you're looking to create a very tight capsule wardrobe and have as few items as possible and buy quality, or you're looking to get a bit more adventurous, we're going to have you covered here on uh, BespokeUnit.com and at the YouTube channel um, that you're currently on. Mm. So please comment below if you're a massive Alan Edmonds fan. Or if you're or, a massive advocate for Beckett Cinnamon. Or if we've Let helped you maybe begin. get a few pairs of each, or mm. whether you know you never thought you were gonna buy you know, a kind of uh, Blake uh, stitch shoe before, and now you, you might give this a try as a summer shoe, or maybe a shoe that's a little bit different, like a light colored hole cut mm. that we have here on the table. So love to hear those comments, or if you think there are other brands, that are comparable to Alan Edmonds at a different price point or a higher construction quality with a higher price point. And, and similarly, if you think there's other brands that compete with Beckett Simon, I'd love to see those. We would love to do more stomp down videos. I think we're I definitely, like yeah. we'll definitely coin the stomp <laughs> down, um, which is fun. And uh, again, any comments, questions, love to have them below. We actually do recommend shoes and buying guides on bes uh, Bespoke Unit and keep those updated regularly. With that extra done, I don't, I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't want to. That was a big one. That was the thing. The big. I just get so excited about this stuff. I know we have so you know, much to share. We you know, we I know, really I know do. both of us work for Bespoke Unit you know, at uh, Bespoke Unit, but I do think we actually do offer a lot of value. I oh mean, yeah, absolutely. You know, we, yeah. we do care about the kind of content we put mm. out, and you know, we're passionate about it, and we do. We have a, done we, a lot of shoe content, but not as many videos. So it's really no. good that we get to yeah. talk about it finally after all this time. Yeah, all this time. Although those yeah. those burn fingertips, you know, <laughs> down to the bone. So we take a lot of time and care in researching and creating this content mm. so we definitely look for constructive and uh, productive uh, criticism and feedback how we can help you and how you can help us with that feedback is always great okay we're going to finish this video okay. Charles Philippe end of the day try both about they're both great options but just pick the right shoe that's right for you and your needs and your budget please like this video if you did like it please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bar because we're always releasing new content not only around shoes but suits, general men's style, travel, cigars, his favorite breakfast drink, which is a mimosa without the orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> because I think the orange juice is just sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in Champagne, France, so we'll give him a, <laughs> we'll give him a drive by on that one. So with all of that being said, thanks a lot for watching, guys. My name's Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And we'll see you next time here at Bespoke Unit. Take care.